New Year's Eve events have become a cornerstone of MMA, playing host to some of the biggest and most ridiculous fights of all time. But few can match an unprecedented matchup held in Japan in 2018. Today we look at how Japan's biggest MMA promotion pitted a kickboxing phenom against a boxing legend in a fight that helped damage the legacies of all three sports. How does one do that? Welcome to the INC, and this is the story of Floyd Mayweather vs. Tenshin Nasukawa. The origins of Mayweather Nasukawa can be traced back to 2015, when Japanese businessman Nobuyuki Sakakibara launched the Ryzen MMA promotion that September. Sakakibara had been one of the key figures in Pride Fighting Championships, which for over a decade cemented its place as one of the preeminent MMA promotions in the world, thanks to its mix of world-class fighters and Japanese pageantry. In 2007, Sakakibara sold Pride to the UFC's parent company Zufa, after the company's reported links to the Japanese Yakuza led to Fuji TV cancelling their television deal. As part of the buyout, Sakikibara signed a non-compete clause forbidding him from being involved in a rival MMA promotion, and after a brief foray into pro wrestling, he made a triumphant return to the sport in 2015. Ryzen held its first event on New Year's Eve that year, boasting the same blend of spectacle and international talent synonymous with pride during its glory years. With Jiri Prohaska, Kron Gracie, and Bellator light heavyweight champion Vadim Nemkov, some of the fighters who got their first break in the promotion. It was Ryzen's New Year's Eve shows, however, that became a cornerstone of the promotion, where many of those rising stars played second fiddle to spectacle fights. Over the next three years, Ryzen played host to some of the most infamous freak show matches of all time, including Bob Sapp taking on sumo wrestler Akebono and the MMA debut of 250-pound jiu-jitsu champion Gabby Garcia. As 2018 rolled around, Ryzen knew they needed another blockbuster match to top their recent outings, but few in the industry, however, predicted what would happen next. On November 5th, 2018, Sakakibara announced a match for that year's New Year's Eve show between Tenshin Nasukawa and boxing legend Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather was regarded as one of the greatest boxers of all time, winning 15 titles across five different weight classes, as well as being the sport's biggest pay-per-view draw. And he'd recently extended his unbeaten professional record against MMA superstar Conor McGregor the previous year. Nasukawa, meanwhile, boasted his own fanfare. By the age of 20, the Japanese fighter was unbeaten in 31 fights across kickboxing and MMA, and he was regarded as one of Japan's biggest combat sports prospects for several decades. Mayweather had long expressed an interest in competing in Japan. As recently as September, the fighter had hinted at a match against fellow legend Manny Pacquiao as a part of a plan to build a casino empire in the region. But his decision to fight the relatively unknown Nasukawa caught many in the sport by surprise. The secret nature of the first pre-fight press conference left some believing the fight would mark Floyd's MMA debut, but it soon became clear that the boxing great had no clue as to what was going on at all. This kid right here is very, very special. He's, he's powerful, he's fast, he's strong, and um, I'm older now, you know. I think that when it comes to experience, I have more experience on my side, but when it comes to youth, youth is on his side, but it's all about excitement. Buzz for the fight would be short-lived. Merely two days after the press conference, Mayweather announced on social media he was withdrawing from the fight claiming he'd never signed an agreement to compete with Ryzen and hadn't even heard of Nasukawa before the press conference. Later reports suggested Mayweather had signed for the fight believing the match was a three-round boxing exhibition for a group of Japanese high rollers, rather than a match against one of Japan's biggest stars in their highest profile event of the year. While Mayweather's stock lowered following the pullout, Ryzen suffered its own backlash. Interest in the fight surpassed anything seen by Ryzen in their short history, and Sakikabara ran the risk of fan backlash if they promised a fight they couldn't deliver. Despite their best efforts, Mayweather still held all the cards, and the two parties returned to the negotiating table with the ball in Floyd's court. On November 15th, Mayweather and Ryzen announced the Nasukawa fight was back on, albeit as the three-round exhibition match Mayweather insisted on during initial negotiations. While the switch saved the main event, it did a lot to harm fan intrigue in the match. 
with Joe Rogan going as far as to suggest Nasakawa's kicking game was such that would give Mayweather serious problems in a mixed rules bout. Mayweather's team went out of their way to avoid such an outcome, implying Nasukawa would receive a $5 million fine if he used, quote, any moves of an MMA nature, end quote. As the fight drew closer, more elements of Floyd and Tension's contracts came to the fore. According to Tokyo Sports, Mayweather would receive an $88 million purse for the bout, 62 coming from Ryzen, with the other 26 expected to be made from broadcast deals and pay-per-view sales. Mayweather himself, however, quoted a much smaller figure, gloating on social media about a $9 million fee for nine minutes of action. Despite the substantial fee, questions still remained over whether Mayweather would go through with the event. Suggestions Nasukawa was forced to fight off in a series of interviews the week of the fight. By this time, however, it was too late. Ryzen had nailed their flag to the Mayweather mast. The question now was whether the captain would arrive to steer the ship. Ryzen 14 took place on New Year's Eve 2018 in front of 40,000 fans at the Saitama Super Arena. Outside the main event, the card boasted a number of cross-promotion events. Thanks to a working agreement between Ryzen and Bellator as a part of the American promotion's bid to break into the Japanese market. The highest profile bout seeing Kyoji Horiguchi beat Darian Caldwell for Ryzen's inaugural bantamweight title. Conspicuous in his absence, however, was Mayweather and the planned intervention between the main event and co-main grew longer. And longer. And longer. Nearly three hours after the planned start time, Mayweather finally walked out for his bout with Nasukawa. Several months of negotiation and social media backbiting would finally come to fruition. Mayweather started the fight by playfully toying with his opponent, before Nasukawa landed the fight's first meaningful strike with a counter left. It would, however, be his only moment of the night. Nasukawa was dropped a second time shortly after, and following a third knockdown in the middle of the round, the Japanese fighter's corner waved off the bout. Nasukawa was left in tears while Mayweather smirked knowing he made $65,000 per second of action. No wonder they call him Money Mayweather, huh? The combat sports media were unanimous in their condemnation of the fight. While Mayweather suffered the brunt of the MMA media's wrath, Ryzen suffered its share of criticism, with many believing the company had risked their short-term future by overpaying for Mayweather's services. A suggestion backed up by TV numbers, with Ryzen 14 pulling figures only marginally higher than their previous events. Despite the embarrassment, Nasukawa saw his profile actually rise in the years after the fight, winning a further 12 kickboxing bouts and becoming one of Ryzen's biggest attractions, including his most recent appearance as a part of a special rules gauntlet that saw him face three opponents back to back. Mayweather, meanwhile, remained on the exhibition boxing circuit, even teasing a return to Ryzen the following summer. But he wouldn't compete again until 2021, when he took on YouTube star Logan Paul, a fight that saw another big payday and further criticism of Floyd's legacy. While combat sports has always relied on gimmicks to draw casual fans, Mayweather vs. Nasukawa ranks as one of the worst, partly for the huge fees involved in the bout and the complete disinterest of its star attraction. Freak show fights will remain a staple of Japanese MMA as long as the sport remains popular. At least American fans can take refuge knowing the UFC would never, ever host a blatant mismatch for TV ratings. This is the INC. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss a video. Happy Holidays and Happy New Year!